far, what do I think about Tokyo? Today is our last full day in Tokyo. After getting ready, we're gonna go to the fish market. Oh, here's my brush. This is so cute. And then we're gonna walk around Tokyo Station and go to like the Uniqlo flagship store. It's a very cloudy, cloudy day, so hopefully it doesn't like completely rain on us. hair in a bun and get it out of my face. So far, what do I think about Tokyo? It's been very chill is how I would put it. Um, and I think that's partly due to like the type of traveler that I am. I did not plan too much before this trip. I had like a general idea of like what to do each day, but once I was there, um, like at the station, I wasn't too sure like which exit to go to. So I feel like I might have missed some main areas, you know? I'm not sure because, or maybe my expectation was just super high. I'm not really sure, um, which I think might have been the case. And you know, one thing that I did kind of get out of this this trip because in korea i live there now right and i'm at the point where i feel like i'm supposed to know more korean than i actually do so i feel like when i step outside everything that i say has to be in korean um not only to like learn the language accommodate the staff that i'm talking to but just like assimilate into the culture and I think that's a great way of learning the language is to push yourself to speak in the language even though you're not a hundred percent correct that's like the best case scenario right because most of the time they understand what you're talking about or like they'll try to help you um, figure out what you're trying to say but I feel like in Japan um, because I don't know any Japanese and I've been using English to interact with people and they've still been so nice and accommodating and I don't know I, I just feel like going back to Korea it will give me a little bit more confidence to like go outside and not be afraid to go outside and interact with other people even though I don't know Korean does that make sense like because I feel like sometimes like the inability to speak Korean properly prevents me from doing something or it just makes me very nervous to do it because I'm like I'm gonna mess up speaking it or I don't know how to say that word you know but I feel like that shouldn't debilitate you to like go outside and try or even try in English you know even having that experience and interaction with other people and Korean people will help rather than like staying home and being too afraid to even go outside yeah so so this trip has been super fun because like I didn't know much about anything of Japan and I feel like I've got a good like picture of what the city looks like and the day-to-day -day, like the people i don't know i have a better understanding of it than before i came so i'm happy with that i feel like i gained what i wanted to from coming to japan you know i'm just gonna leave it at that i'm not gonna put anything on my face because i just want my skin to breathe this is the Mac Spice World. Okay, done. Let's finish getting ready and change and let's go. This is my final look. I'm wearing the same jacket that I've been wearing this entire time. 
and the shirt it's like an off the shoulder like one sided shoulder shirt um, from H&M I believe and then my jeans that I got second hand from this influencer um, and my New Balance shoes let's go Tiny but modern. Originally it was the fifth floor room that we got, but we got upgraded to the 11th floor. Over here is the washroom and then full size mirror. I'm assuming this is, I'm not sure, some sort of ironing board or something. And some hangers over here. And through here is the washroom. Hello. There's the bathtub. Pretty spacious and new. And they even gave us some PJs, which I'm excited to try later. But right now, it is 6, so let's go get some dinner. Time to leave. We're heading to the airport now. One last look. So sunny today. Okay, let's go. So here are the things I got from Japan. Let's start with skincare. Starting off, I got this skin conditioner. And so this is basically a toner. I've been using that Annua toner, which I've absolutely loved. It's been really, really good. And I feel like it's really calmed my skin, but this is very popular, so I wanted to try it. And I think, because I haven't tried these products yet, or most of these products, I think if it, you know, is good enough to enter into my routine, then I'm going to share it with you guys, like, down the road. Okay, next, I got the Fino Hair Mask. My friend recommended this to me, and is it really dark? I feel like it looks really dark. Hold on. There we go. I think it's better. Um, my friend recommended this to me, and... I'm not usually like a hair mask person, but I just couldn't resist the sale. It was like two for nine dollars, I think. Next, I got this vitamin C serum. 
I've also heard good things about this and my current vitamin C that I was using um, ran out. I also got this eye serum or eye cream. Um, I already started using another one because my mom copied me and also wanted to get one. So we started using hers and it's been very good. I also got this one. I've been looking for like a good hair gel hair stick. Um, it was between this and like a honey, I think it's called like Anne Honey or something like that. It's like a, that one's more like a mascara wand, but um, apparently that one doesn't hold as well as this one does. Next I got this one. This is the Biore UV Aqua Rich Watery Essence SPF 50. I've used it so many times. I bought this in Vancouver a bunch and it's really good. The only downside of it is it smells pretty chemically, but it goes on really smooth and like water and it dries like absolutely clear it's really great so because i love the biore one i also got this one because i've seen some people use it the biore uv aqua rich aqua protect mist spf 50 and it's like spray form but i tried it and it also has a problem this one it smells heavily of chemicals so i didn't like to spray it like on my face even though I tried, I don't think I'm going to be using this for my face face. Probably just like neck and other areas. I also got this. I've heard that this is very popular. This is the, this is their acne medication. It's like a topical cream, I believe. But you can buy it over the counter and it was quite cheap, like maybe around $10 or so. Um, and once you squeeze it out, it's like a white cream and it dries completely transparent. So I will be trying that out. I also have one more, but it's in my washroom. I also got this, which is In Shower Moisture Barrier Cream from Corel. This is Intensive Moisture Care. Basically, this is a moisturizer that you put inside the shower when you are still wet. After you like shower and use your body wash and everything, you put this on and you squeeze, you have to like assemble it, it doesn't come like this. You squeeze this and then it drops out and you kind of just rub it into your wet damp skin and then you can use your towel right away to pat it dry. I'm not sure what sort of magic is in this because even after I use my towel and like dry myself, my skin is still moisturized like the, the the cream is still sucked into my skin and I loathe putting cream after showering because it just makes me feel so cold and I really don't like it so I feel like this is such a great alternative if you want to put cream but you don't want to put it after the shower I'm really happy with the things that I got and moving on to Clothes. I only got a couple of things. Let's start with Uniqlo. We went to the flagship store. Got this. This was like a impulse grab and go. It says tennis court champ. I just really like the color. I thought it was cute. I couldn't say no. And I also got this. I've been looking for one of these like see-through layovers, you know? And the last thing that I got was this skirt. This was from like a random Japanese store. But actually I found the same skirt in Korea for the exact same price. So very basic skirt. But I liked this because I liked like the smaller pleats. There's one with the bigger pleats. And I like that it had this like U shape. I thought that was very flattering. The other skirt that I tried on, it was like straight all across. So I like the shape of this one better. That is everything that I got from Japan. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to Busan again tomorrow actually. Um, but I'm not sure if I want to like properly film and vlog there because just this month of like having family around and like vacationing so we'll see what happens thank you guys so much for watching subscribe so i don't get deported and i'll see you guys next time bye